Hello and welcome to PA Academy. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw a given circle, a, a circle with a given radius, to touch two given arcs. So, so this is what we are going to be drawing. So this is just a freehand sketch of what we are going to be drawing. So if you have one arc like this, and you have another arc looking like this, and you are asked to draw a circle to touch these two arcs. So that means you are going to be having a circle, and the circle you are going to be drawing, you are going to be giving the radius. So you're going to be having a circle that will touch these two arc. So you can see. So that's what I'm going to be showing you in this video. Now, this is a freehand sketch, but there is a way to go around it so everything will be perfect. So you're going to be having a perfect circle that is touching this, the two arcs. So before we get into this video, please, if you are here to subscribe to PA Academy, kindly click on the subscribe button and the little bell icon beside the subscribe button. All right, so I'm waiting for you to do that. All right, thank you very much if you have just clicked on the subscribe button. If you are here to, uh, please click on it. All right, thank you very much. So, for us to do this, we need to we will need three values. One, we need the arc, the radius of this arc, the first arc of the radius of the second arc, and the radius of the circle that we are going to be drawing. So now let's give some radius that we are going to be using to demonstrate this example. So now let me call the, this radius arc radius one. So let me call it arc radius one. So that will be r one. So that will be R1. So let's use 8 centimeter. Okay. So then arc radius 2. So let's call that R2. So that means the radius of this, this second arc. So let's give that 12 centimeter. And then let's use the circle radius. So let's give that small r. Let's call it, let's use 2 centimeter. So yours might be different from what I'm using. I'm using Eight centimeter, twelve centimeter, and two centimeter. But the step is still the same thing. So don't let that to give you any issues if you are working with uh, different lengths. But just follow the steps, and I believe you'll be fine. All right. So to start with, I'm going to be drawing that uh, the arc with a radius of eight centimeter. So I pick my compass and use it to measure a length of eight centimeter. Okay, so this is eight centimeter. So this is the arc with a radius of eight centimeter. All right. So note the point you are from which you draw your arc. So for illustration, let me make this known that from this point to this point on the arc. That this represents our R1, which is 8 centimeter. So the next thing is to draw the, our R2. Our R2 is the arc radius for the second arc, is 12 centimeter. So I'll measure 12 centimeter. Okay. So I'll be drawing mine from from this location. So this is my second arc. So let me just clean up this extension. Okay. So let me also notice that from this point So this is my R2 and that is 12 centimeter. All right, so now we have our arc. So the next thing we, are, we want to do now is to get the center of the circle. Now the circle is going to be is going to be here. It's going to be touching this arc and it's also going to be touching this arc. So we want to draw what we want to do now is to get the center of the circle. And in order to do that, let's start with the this first arc. So what we'll do is 
we are going to draw another arc that will come right after this arc to the right this way and for us to get the radius of the arc that we are going to be drawing we are going to be add this r1 8 centimeter plus the radius of the circle and the radius of the circle which is this circle radius r is 2 centimeter so that means from this point that means from this particular point we are going to be drawing another arc with a radius of r1 plus r that is 10 centimeter so just follow along so now i want to measure 10 centimeter So I already have my 10 centimeter with my compass. 10 centimeter. So you place it at this point from the same point where you, uh, you draw your arc of 8 centimeter. So now we are working with 10. So you put it there, you draw an arc. So I hope it's clear. Okay. All right, so that's the that's the arc there. So now we've done this. So let me indicate. So from the point you draw the arc to the arc itself. So this is R one plus R. That is ten centimeter. So I'm writing all these figures so that you don't get confused. So what we've done here, we are going to do the same thing here. But this time around, the arc for this one is going to be right on top of this arc. So for us to do this arc, we are going to be having R2 minus R. This time around, it's going to be R2 minus R. And the value for our R is the circle, that's the radius we are going to be drawing here, is 2 centimeters. So what we are going to have is 12 centimeters minus 2 centimeters. That is 10 centimeters. So I'll pick my compass and measure the 10 centimeters. Okay, so my compass is still on 10 centimeter. So you put it at this point, and then you draw the arc. So we don't need to draw, you don't need to draw a full arc. Since we already have it to intersect with the first arc. Since they've already intersect, so we can just leave it like that. So the point they both intercept, so let me note that point. So this point here represents the center of the circle that we are going to be drawing. And don't forget, the circle is radius of 2 cm. So now I will measure 2 cm. So this is 2 cm. I'll place the compass at this point. And from here I will draw the circle. So you can see we already have we already have a circle. So let me indicate that. So that means from this point to the circle is our small r, which is the circle radius. So this is how you go about drawing a circle of a given radius to touch to given arc. So if you check the description of this video, you'll find uh, the link to other examples similar to this exact uh, to this video in different. Uh, different ways or different ways you might be asked to draw a circle to touch either two arc one arc with a line you know different ways just check the description of this video you'll find the link to other examples you can also check uh, the playlist on technical drawing for more helpful videos on technical drawing so with that if you find this video helpful kindly give it a like click on the like button share this video if you haven't subscribed to PA Academy uh, please subscribe to this channel and click on the bell icon beside the subscribe button you can also check out our website paacademy.co paacademy.co and if you have any question for me or any video request or video suggestion, do leave them in the comment section below. And with that, guys, I'll see you all in another video. Thank you.